Hi, I'm Ruth Fletcher, Education Manager at The Hunterian. I'm here today to introduce a video demonstration of this Alexander Bain electric pendulum clock. It was presented to the University of Glasgow in 1936 by Glasgow City Councillor William Brownhill Smith. It is one of the earliest electric pendulum clocks designed and made in the 1840s by Scottish inventor and so-called father of electric horology, Alexander Bain. A further development of Bain's design was that this one master clock could drive a network of geographically distant clocks connected by a series of electric cables. In October 2014, after some restorative work by the Antiquarian Horology Society, the clock was put on display here on the Science History Balcony at the Hunterian Museum. During the installation, we were lucky to have a working demonstration supervised by horologist Nick Saunders. He will talk you through it now. Hi, my name's Nick Saunders. I'm an electrical engineer and electrical horologist. Um, I've worked with Ken Chappelle to get this Alexander Bain clock working. It was built in about 1845. It's one of the first electric clocks ever made. What's special about it is the pendulum at the bottom, which has a coil inside this brass bit, and the sort of contact here, which switches on and off as the pendulum moves. An external battery, which originally would have been buried, would have been pieces of metal buried in the ground, but we've got a little battery in the box here. An external battery drives the contacts here, the switch switches it, and the coil receives a little impulse every time the switch closes. The mechanism at the top of the pendulum drives a second hand round once every second like that, and the rest of it is geared together in a conventional clockwork way to show the time. This is a, a, a really rare and extremely special clock, and we've measured its performance very carefully, the current pulses that it takes and the length of those pulses, so in the future we can study exactly how it works. Furthermore, it's an additional contact on this clock which you actually drive distant clocks, or many clocks, miles away, through a wire connected to this little pin here. Um, this is a really important electrical 